question. Let's put it to the test. One half of the Simple Life Big Adventures duo. Today, I have unboxed my Jackery portable power station. We're gonna hook up the solar panels. We have two 100 watt solar saga panels. We'll talk about those a little bit later. We're just gonna go ahead and get the power station hooked up and see how long it's gonna take it to charge up. Out of the box with the Jackery portable power station. We well, get this little kit here and you have your car charging adapter. And then you have the um, wall outlet adapter here. And then they sent as a gift the Solar Saga Parallel Adapter, which that's a good thing because I didn't order the adapter to connect my two panels. So thank you, Jackery. Here is our Solar Saga 100 watt panel. We chose the suitcase style just to have a little more flexibility with it. Um, you can chase the sun a little bit better with the uh, suitcase style. And here you've got the little kickstands on both sides so, to help stand it up. And inside the little zipper pocket is your charging cord to hook it up to the power station. up in the direct sunlight. We're going to take the parallel adapter and go ahead and get these babies hooked up together. All right, we've got our parallel adapter. Hooking our two 100 watt solar panels together. We're going to come in here and you're going to see plug in red and red and black and black. Plugging it straight into the Jackery. Alright guys, we've got our two 100 watt solar panels set up, connected, plugged into the Jackery 1000. We're sitting at 29% power bank right now and it looks like we're charging at about 120 watts at this moment. So we're going to time it's like we'll say 755 on the box anything i've read it shows that a 100 watt panel the solar panel will take about 17 hours to to fully charge your jackery so we've got our two 100 watt panels so let's see how far we go we chose the jackery 1000 portable power bank just because it's a little more flexible than than um, a full-blown solar install um, we can use our, you know, use the panels and we can chase the sun. We can chase the sun all over to grab every last minute of sunlight that we can. The portable power bank only weighs about 30 pounds itself. So we can move it, we can transport it from inside the van to outside the van. While we're sitting at camp, we can set our solar panels out, let it be charging with the solar panels. Uh, if we're driving down the road, we can put it into the charger, the 12 volt charger, and charge it as we're headed across country for a trip. Before we take off on a road trip, we can take it in the house and plug it into the wall, get it at 100% capacity. The only question we have is, how will it work when we start using our power on it? We will keep it simple. The most we'll use it for on the road is to keep our devices charged. We're gonna need to keep our phones charged batteries for the GoPro charge, you're going to need to keep the laptop charged, uh, and we want to ensure that, that all of that happens. We will probably put uh, some lights in the van before long, 
and this does have the uh, just regular wall outlets on here so that we can just plug in a, a lamp or a strip of lots, whatever we decide to add to Big Toe. We have a fan that we run in the van at night, so hopefully that fan will keep us going. And we have our 12 volt refrigerator. So that's gonna be a lot of draw on this um, portable power station, but we're gonna put it to the test once this gets charged 100%, and we're gonna see how far we can get down the road. We have our two 100 watt solar saga panels hooked into the Jackery 1000. We are charging at, we're down to 109 watts right now. That's with two 100 watt panels. So out of curiosity, let's do one panel. So one 100 watt panel takes us down to about 51 watts an hour. So I'm really glad that we got the two 100 watt panels just to give us a little more boost. It has been about two hours since I first plugged in the solar panels to the portable battery bank. And we are at 48%. We are charging at about 100 watts an hour right now. We're still chasing the sun. And just a quick note, do not leave your battery bank out in the direct sunlight. I couldn't get the display to come on. So we had to go in just for a few minutes to cool off. Now we're back to charging. Okay guys, I had to wrap up the first day solar charging because the sun just would not cooperate with us that day. Uh, I stopped it after about five hours. We had gone from 29% bank to 65% um, bank, I believe is what it was. So after a couple of more cloudy days, a couple of work days, we got the panels put back out, got it charged to 100%. And the total time was you know, 12, 13 hours with the two 100 watt solar panels. All right, just an overview of what I did learn with the uh, Jackery 1000 straight out of the box. Uh, it is super easy to use, y'all. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great asset for power for us when we're out on the road in Big Toe. One of the things I noticed in my video when I came out, I believe it was at two hours to check where we were, I squatted down in front of the uh, solar panel to tell you where we were charging at at that point, what, what percentage we had gotten to, and I found out later that any kind of shadow cast on the solar panels is going to make a difference. It's going to show up in your wattage, so that reading was inaccurate, so we'll not do the shadows anymore. Cloudy days are not much help at all when you're trying to power the Jackery 1000. Uh, you know, you do gain a little bit of wattage, but my best advice is to use the Jackery, use the solar panels when you can, keep it topped off at all times. Uh, keep your devices and, and anything that you charge, keep them topped off if there's any way possible, and it's gonna work a whole lot better for you. So as you can see on my table here, this is pretty much everything we feel like we'll need right now on a trip in Big Toe. Of course, it will change, you know, as, as we travel more, it'll change a little bit more. But stay tuned to next week's video, and we're gonna test all of these devices to see how much wattage every device is pulling, and then all of them together. So subscribe to Simple Life Big Adventures and watch for next week's video.